What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, we are going to be talking about the trade the New England Patriots made today with the Baltimore Ravens. We're going to be talking about the player, what exactly this means for the team going forward, the depth chart at this point, and of course, what New England essentially had to give up to make this trade happen. But of course, the player we are talking about here is Sean Wade, who ironically... The Baltimore Ravens just drafted a couple months ago. So that, that's why this trade is a little peculiar, just because you don't usually hear about trades going down just a couple months after a team drafts a guy, especially because this is not a sixth, seventh round player. They still drafted him in the mid rounds. They drafted him in the fifth round with pick 160 overall. And he's someone, again, who isn't having a bad camp. Him being traded to the Patriots essentially is not because he isn't a good player, because he is struggling, he doesn't fit the, the scheme that the Baltimore Ravens are running. It all comes down to depth. The best way I can kind of compare this is like Sony Michelle. Sony has is having a great offseason. Sony Michelle is a great player. Sony Michelle is a player that ideally you would have loved to have kept around, but the Patriots have so much depth at running back, have so much depth around this team in general that they did have to ship him off. That is the same situation here with the Baltimore Ravens, who are just stacked in their secondary, especially at the cornerback position. They were going to end up having to cut Sean Wade, it looks like, so they just decided to try to get that draft capital back and shipped him off to the Patriots. Now, I'm sure the compensation that you all have heard is not the actual compensation that the Patriots are giving up here for Sean Wade. At the end of all this, New England is going to be giving up a 2022 seventh round pick and a 2023 fifth round pick. Again, let's remember that Wade was selected just a couple of months ago in the fifth round. So essentially, New England is giving back what the Ravens uh, gave to draft Sean Wade plus a seventh round pick. So in some ways, you can kind of say that now New England did draft, in a weird way, a cornerback because we were all pushing for this team to draft a corner with all of the, the needs at cornerback past the 2021 season, Stephon Gilmore and JC Jackson both being free agents as a Patriots CB1 and CB2, and just really the lack of ideal depth behind those two guys when it comes to potential injuries. Now, we'll have to see exactly what happens with comp picks and if New England is going to get, you know, a third, fourth, seventh round pick in return for some of the guys that did leave in free agency and, of course, potential trades that could happen during uh, the 2022 offseason. But New England, as of this current time after this trade, will not have a seventh round pick anymore. That final seventh round pick that they had did go to the Ravens in order to acquire Sean Wade. And I'm sure that the Pats were okay with giving up a fifth round pick in 2023 because let's remember in the trade for Sony Michelle, they just acquired another fourth round pick. So they already have at least two fourth rounders for 2023. But I actually really like the addition here of Sean Wade. Obviously, the Baltimore Ravens were not going to just release him. I think ideally they wanted to trade him. At the end of the day, if they had to release him, they were going to. But ideally, they wanted to trade him. And we knew that there were multiple teams that were calling about him, multiple teams that were interested in him. And the Patriots were the team that essentially was able to land him. Sitting at six foot one, 196 pounds, this is an ideal a trade scenario for the Patriots because they finally get a guy who can play in the slot but can also play on the outside. You kind of look at um, a Jonathan Jones, you look at Miles Bryant, these guys are a little bit too short to play the outside. They're not going to be able to go up against average to above average wide receivers that do play on the outside and they're just going to get bullied, not because for their mechanics but because of their height. The Patriots add depth with a guy who can actually play outside due to his size. And with only being 22 years old, he still has a lot of time to develop. And luckily enough for the Patriots, because of the trade, the Patriots get that rookie contract too. So they have him on that rookie contract for four years. And because he was drafted in the fifth round, it is next to nothing. 
Like I mentioned, Sean Wade has also been having a really, really good preseason so far with the Baltimore Ravens. What I also like about him being a Baltimore Raven and succeeding so far with the Baltimore Ravens was that the Patriots and the Ravens run a pretty similar defense. They're both a defense that likes to run a lot of man coverage and relies on their corners to play a press man about 85% of the time. An interesting factor also is that Sean Wade has actually allowed the lowest passer rating in the preseason, at least so far, allowed by a rookie cornerback. So out of all of the rookie cornerbacks from this year's draft, Sean Wade has allowed the lowest passer rating with a 0.0. So he has not allowed a single reception in any targets and has even been able to record an interception. Now, he also played in a big college. He played for the Ohio State University, so he's coming from a big college. He knows how to go up against big competition and some of the best competition that we will see both now and the future of the NFL. In 35 games, he had 91 tackles, 18 pass broken ups, 6 interceptions, 5 tackles for loss, 3 forced fumbles, and 2 sacks. I think that this has the potential to be just a perfect Bill Belichick-styled player. He's someone that thrives in press man coverage, but also he's someone that is very underrated as a blitzing cornerback. This is something Belichick loves to do situationally with his safeties, with his corners. We've seen it several times with uh, Patrick Chun, Devin McCourty. Belichick loves to blitz those um, secondary players in certain situations, and it looks like Sean Wade could be a guy that potentially does that with his history of doing so. He's also somebody that the Baltimore Ravens got a steal on. I always like to look at what the fan base is saying when these trades go down, and nobody in the Baltimore Ravens fan base is happy about this trade. They all understand that it is because of depth. They weren't going to be able to keep him because of all of the guys ahead of him, but that he was an excellent, young, rising player that they got a steal on, and they were not happy that they had to give him up so early because of the potential that he had. He is someone that had a really, really down 2020 season, and because of that, his draft stock dropped tremendously. If his draft or if his 2020 tape did not uh, decrease so much compared to what it was in the years prior, they're saying that he would have been one of the first cornerbacks taken, that he was a first round caliber cornerback. But because of those issues that he sustained in the 2020 season, his draft stock went from the first round and the Ravens got him in the fifth. Now, I asked my draft expert, Bro Smoke, who you guys have seen on the channel. I've done some videos with him. He does everything draft. He is my guy, my go-to guy when I need to know anything and everything about previous drafts, the upcoming drafts. So I asked him, I hit him up. I said, hey, what are your thoughts? What was your report here on Sean Wade? Give a little bit of, uh, you know, a summary on what Pats Nation can expect from him. And here is what he said, and I quote, that he's an ideal slot slash box safeties prospect who struggled when on the boundary, but he has the desired traits to eventually succeed outside. He only played wide last season for Ohio State and it went rough, but prior to that, he was a shutdown in the slot. So for right now, it looks like he's someone that's really going to be playing more so in the middle of the field. He's going to be playing in the slot. Now, hopefully this trade doesn't have any outcomes of Jonathan Jones because supposedly Jonathan Jones did go down with an injury against the final day of joint practice with the Giants. He's going to be a huge part of the Patriots defense. I mean, Jonathan Jones is one of the best defensive players that the Patriots have, and he's very underrated, one of the best slot safeties in the entire NFL. So hopefully he's fine, and this is just for depth reasons. But it looks like at least as of now, Sean Wade is someone you will be seeing possibly going up against tight ends, someone who's going to play in the slot. Uh, but hopefully the Patriots can develop him, and hopefully the, the Ravens have developed him also to be able to at some point play on the outside because that is where the Patriots need help. I think they have a good amount of guys who can play in the slot, whether it is Jonathan Jones, Sean Wade now, Miles Bryant, Jawan Williams, Jalen Mills, like they have a lot of guys who can play in the slot. It has always been depth on the outside behind Stephon Gilmore and JC Jackson that the Patriots needed help with. So I think the most ideal scenario here is that that is exactly what he can develop into, but nonetheless, a perfect prospect for the New England Patriots and their defensive scheme. 
Before we end this video off, though, I do want to talk about the sponsors of this video and the sponsors of this channel, BetOnline.ag. Now, for those who do not know BetOnline, they have the fastest and the easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football is finally coming back, along with, of course, uh, baseball, basketball, NHL, and you guys can get in on betting with all of that. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV with real-time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. BetOnline also has you covered for all the new scores and odds, and it's the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website and use your mobile device to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. That is BetOnline, your online sportsbook experts. Do not forget to use that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. But the New England Patriots make a trade with the Baltimore Ravens for cornerback uh, Sean Wade. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section below. Like always, make sure to leave a big, big like on this video. Subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news, and I'll catch you in the next one.